Hello and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I am here to do the weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Let's get into this. See what spirit got for you. This is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You already know what to do if love shows up, reverse the roles as needed, okay? Aquarius, your overall energy is the high priestess. We already know you psychic. Aquarius are so psychic. <laughs> I'm telling you, they, they, they got a, a different kind of psychic outside of Scorpios. I'm telling you, them, them Aquarius, be, they be seeing some things. Yeah. Let's get some messages for the Aquarius Collective for this week of May 26, 2000. 24. We got the Knight of Cups. Okay. Yeah. Those of you who like, share, and subscribe to our channel, thank you guys so much. And to those that are divinely guided to this message, welcome. Okay. We got the Emperor. Aries Energy. We got the seven of cups, I mean the nine of cups. And the ten of swords. At the bottom of the deck, we got the king of cups, okay? It's all about balance, okay? So that's probably what the high priestess stands for also. That's a... Uh, <clears throat> Taurus energy, Taurus Capricorn Virgo, but that's Taurus energy. Yeah, but just looking at this, it looks like you're going to get an invite, and you might turn it down because you know you you really just want to spend some time alone because you're going through some things right now, and you know the hard part is over with. That's what they're saying, but you need to balance yourself. This whole reading is about balance. Let's clarify, see what it's talking about. The Knight of Cups. Why is this here for the Aquarius Collective? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you need to release them fears and that anxiety. What is that Eight of Swords in reverse? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Releasing those fears and anxieties. Eight of Swords in reverse. Oh, no. It's, it's anxiety. Mm-hmm. But somebody is coming in. And uh, they are worried. <laughs> they, 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 uh, like, oh, is that what it is? Oh, somebody's coming in and you're going to meet them by accident and it's going to make you so happy. <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, somebody's going to come in. If somebody's coming towards you, you're going to meet them by accident, like at the grocery store or at the gas station or something. And they're going to make you so happy. They could be a Leo. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Oh, yeah, balance yourself. You're about to have some offers, Aquarius. The Emperor, why is this here? Why is the Emperor here for the Aquarius collection? It's going to be a complete accident. You guys might bump into each other at the job or something. I don't know. <laughs> the Emperor, why is this here? Thank you. Oh, and this person is going to turn you on. You're going to be crazy about them, but you ain't going to tell them. Not right off the bat. That's what it looked like. They're going to they gonna turn your fire on. You're going to want to sleep with this person. Look at that. And, and you're really going to be crazy about them. <laughs> Goodness gracious, Aquarius. Good stuff. Yeah, that's what they're saying. You've been wishing and praying for this person, and they're about to come to you. Can't make it up. That's your energy right there. You folk, you've been focused on what it is you want from love, and it's coming. The Nine of Cups. Why is this here? This is great. Why is the Nine of Cups here for the Aquarius Collective Spirit? Why is the Nine of Cups here for the Aquarius Collective Spirit? This card, the wish card. Tired of being a little selfish, self-centered. Why is this nine of cups here? Almost to completion. The person is going to be who they wish for. Is that what they're saying, Spirit? 
Yeah, we seeing that. This person is about to make you so happy. They gonna turn you on too. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, you almost see your witch fulfillment. You you're being told not to miss your opportunity. Look at that the star card at the bottom of the deck again. It's telling you don't miss your opportunity, Aquarius. Yeah, don't shut them down too quick. <laughs> the ten of swords here. Thank you. Yeah, the hard part is over. All that uh. Hold on a second. Yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah. That's a lion heart. And I bet you that's you, Aquarius. Hmm. Because you might be saying to this person, I'm still hurting about my last relationship, but that's not the case. That's not. Give us more of that Ten of Swords, please. For the clarified spirit. Thank you. And the Ten of Pentacles, two tens. Oh my goodness, what is that? change and it's time for a change too let's look at that ten of swords again see what else it means see completion of a cycle it means pain and pain sadness desolation feeling empty okay it's a hurtful energy it may hurt but it's over you can heal now so that's what it's telling you you can heal now excuse me but you lied to yourself like you don't deserve it. That it'll never work. Excuse me. And that's what that looks like. And you think it's best if you run away. Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> that's what they're saying to me. The Ten of Cups. Talks about a lion heart. The Ten of Pentacles. In reverse. Talks about deception. Bad faith. Like I said, you 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 lying to yourself. The hard part is over. You've been through a lot. And you feel like you just don't deserve this new wonderful love. Because this person really does it for you. You're going to try to talk yourself out of it. Yeah. But this person is going, you're going to try to talk yourself out of this. This is the card of running away. This is doing what's best for you. You're going to try to talk yourself out of a great person? Oh my gosh. It could also be read as, this person is going to be exactly, this is also a wish card. This is person is, is what you wish for, your husband. This is the Mary King. So that could also mean that too. I'm going to take the, la the latter. Okay, that this is the person for you. Yeah, you need to balance yourself. Yeah. You may feel like you don't have enough money or enough stability to be with this person. With that Seven of Pentacles, Aquarius. Okay. But this is a, a chance at a brand new beginning. This is the Empress. She doesn't need your money. The Empress already has everything she needs. She don't need your money. That's if I'm talking to a guy. Yeah. She don't need your money. She has everything she needs. She needs respect, love, and loyalty. Yeah. This is a blessing that's being bestowed upon you. So walk away from those negative thoughts. This blessing is being bestowed upon you. This person that's coming in, Aquarius, is your person. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The message is coming in. What you gonna do? That's all I can say. What you gonna do, Aquarius? Any answers for the Aquarius Collective Spirit? This energy in this reading. Any answers for the Aquarius Collective Spirit? 
And yeah, she was really very selective. So. And that's just. See, I can't make this stuff up. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yes, don't miss this opportunity. And if you a guy and meet this lady out in public, ask her out to dinner. Ask her for a number. Would you like to talk? I'm single. You single? Would you like to talk and see if we match? <laughs> Anything else with a prayer collector? And if you a lady, you better be open. Yeah, go on and get them your number. See, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Like if you like brunettes, it's okay to date a blonde, redhead, blue head. They got all colors now. <laughs> Ask your question, Aquarius. Any answers for the Aquarius Collective? <laughs> yeah. It might be a little different from you. But the more y'all talk, the, the, the deeper y'all bond becomes. Good stuff. That outside stuff won't even matter. <laughs> Funny. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Aquarius. Something on the floor. First card out. Wait. Remain positive, Aquarius. Yes. And yes. <laughs> yes. Aquarius, what a great reading, you guys. If you took anything from this reading, like, share, and subscribe. And you guys, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you soon. Take care.